Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Bakler for CNET.com. We're here today with Bonnie Cha, our cell phone expert, senior editor. And uh, today we're talking about AT&T and the announcement they made that they've fully upgraded their 3G service here in New York City. Now while it's tough to judge and measure that claim, we decided to put all the cell phone carriers up against one another, starting right here at our CNET labs here in New York. So Bonnie, how exactly are we conducting these experiments here today? So we've downloaded the speedtest.net app to four devices, the Nexus One for T-Mobile, the Apple iPhone 4 for AT&T, we've got it on the Evo 4G for Sprint, as well as the Droid X for Verizon. And we're gonna conduct three tests at each location and take an average. Obviously, there are a lot of variables that go into the speed test, so we're just gonna give it a shot and see what we get. So, shall we start? Let's do it. Bonnie, what were the results? Again, I'd like to reiterate, this isn't formal scientific testing, but looks like from the test here, the AT&T had the fastest upload and download speeds. Uh, interestingly, Verizon and T-Mobile were around the same, but T-Mobile was running on edge, so wow. it's a pretty interesting result. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're going to brave the heat and venture outside. Our next stop, Columbus Circle. So Bonnie, there's a lot of people here. What do you think is going to happen in our speed test? Well, it should be interesting to watch, but you know, with more people, I'm sure a lot of people are on their cell phones, so data speeds might be slower, but we'll have to check it out. All right, let's see what we get here at Columbus Circle. Okay, so we averaged the three tests, and T-Mobile had the fastest download speeds, which actually doesn't surprise me because I've gotten great 3G speeds with T-Mobile here in New York. Sprint uh, came in last. They had the slow. That is a bummer for me because I have an Evo, but uh, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you know, just informal testing here. Sure. Uh, and Verizon and AT&T were similar in, as far as download speeds, but the upload speeds for AT&T were a little on the slower side. You know, we've they've had that issue this week. We've heard about it, so it, it's apparently a a software issue, so hopefully we'll see a fix soon for that. All right, our latest trip brings us to Times Square in New York City. Bonnie Chow, what do you think's going on here? So many people, so much traffic. What can we expect? Well, yeah, a lot more people than Columbus Circle. I think that's going to put more of a strain on the network, so I'm expecting some slower data speeds here, but let's see who can handle the heat. We're done spinning here in Times Square, New York City. Bonnie Chow, we have our results. What do they say? We got some mixed results this time. T-Mobile still in first place with the fastest download and upload speeds. Sprint actually came in second, so they're coming on up. Verizon came in last, and AT&T's third. All right, we're here at our final location for testing Union Square. Uh, what did the results say? Well, actually, this is the location I was most interested in because when we posted that AT&T story, we got a few complaints from readers saying the Union Square area was the worst in reception, so AT&T came in third. Wasn't the worst. Sprint was the worst. You know, I'm really upset about it. Everywhere we go except for Times Square, Sprint performed terribly. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's not your network. But, you know, again, these are informal tests. It, a lot of variables happening. Um, as far as first, T-Mobile still comes in first, and Verizon came in second. I think it, I think you know we learned a lot, and I think surprisingly, T-Mobile having by far the best performance scores. Is there anything else that contributes to that? Uh, again, it could, like we said, it could be the number of subscribers. But you know, T-Mobile just hasn't really advertised their 3G network as much as the others, so people might not be aware of about how fast this network is. Um, what else did we learn today, really? I, I feel like regardless where you go in Manhattan, your results are going to vary. You know, we got ups, we got downs different locations changed. Is there anything else we could sort of conclude uh, after all this? Yeah, I mean, the mixed results, you know, there's so many variables. It could be your location, the time of day, you know, so, you know, just if you're looking for a carrier, talk with other people to see what their experience is and choose from there or decide from there. Well, thank you, Bonnie Cha, our cell phone expert, senior editor here at CNET.com. We've braved the heat. We've jumped all over Manhattan testing the various cell phone providers and their data speeds. Uh, I'm Jeff Bakula for CNET.com as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys soon.